Hey guys, Greg from the Plastic Crack blog here, um, and today I'm bringing you a video of a review uh, where I look at some terrain from Space Rocks Global. Uh, it's for the X-Wing miniatures game, and it makes it look uh, so much more immersive, makes the game a bit more 3D than using those debris and those asteroids that come in the box. Um, they're just fantastic. I really, really recommend them. So stay tuned and have a hands-on look at what I've got coming up for you today. Before we have a look at the uh, Corellian Corvette Rec Pack that comes from Space Rocks Global, I just want to have a quick chat about um, customer service, really. Um, just something for you guys to be aware of. I think it's really important when you're buying from um, from eBay and from you know like new sellers, because I don't think this company's that old. Um, and I guess the problem with those sort of companies is usually, this isn't the case with these guys, but usually, you know, it's a small man team. They've got big demand, especially if it's as nice as these uh, these terrain pieces are. Um, you know, and it can slow things down, if you've got problems it can take ages, um, but I had a problem with my order. Um, so I ordered on eBay and, uh, you know, they say it's first class post and after about seven days um, I hadn't heard anything. So I sent them over a message on eBay and uh, Mike, um, good old Mike actually, sent me an email back within about two hours saying that, um, you know, he thinks it's lost in the post, it was, it was sent out on this date. Um, but I hadn't received it. He was very apologetic and he actually sent one out and got one to me the next day um, and gave me a discount code um, as, a, as a sorry. Um, you know, and I think that's really nice. Mike's always been really upfront and honest uh, on his messages um, and I think that's what you need. Um, you know, quick responses, it really annoys me when you don't, you know, you've got a problem and no one's getting back to you. But, you know, it wasn't like this. So, you know, Space Rocks Globals were really, really good. Um, Mike over there is doing a wicked job and um, yeah, for, for a new startup I think their customer service is spot on. So um, cool, let's have a quick check out on the miniature and uh, see what I've got for you. Hi guys, so um, as I mentioned I'm going to show you how to spice up your uh, X-Wing miniature game tables a little bit uh, from having these normal templates that you can sort of manoeuvre around, um, you know, with the asteroids and the debris. Um, you know, Fantasy Flight did a great job with them, I think they're really cool, um, but they're just a bit flat, um, especially when you've got some cool miniatures uh, like this sort of flying around the table. So I'm going to show you the uh, Corellian Corvette Rec Pack from uh, Space Rocks Global, which just gives it a bit more depth, um, you know, makes your games look a bit cooler. Uh, so let's get these away. Um, so it comes like this. Um, you know, it comes in a box, which is quite nice. It doesn't come in uh, a jiffy bag, so you know it's not going to get broken because uh, these are resin, um, which is cool. So, what have we got? So, in here, um, we've got. So you guys can see this, let the camera focus. So, we've got the templates, uh, sort of the bases for these to go on. Um, they look like they're laser cut plastic. Uh, with a bit of plastic to steal off and we've got some quite thick bases, uh, some tubes there to hold them on so hopefully they're quite nice and sturdy. Um, we have to peel them off. Okay, that's what we got. So, okay, let's get in focus. These are really nice, they're really really detailed. Um, you know, I'm pretty sure these are made from a cast uh, of the X-Wing miniature itself, so really, really nice detail. Um, and they've, you know, they come pre-painted. Um, it looks a little bit darker than what it does on the website, um, but it still looks really cool. Um, if that was to bother you, you know, you could always just dry brush it. Um, but it does look really cool. Really, really nice. It's quite light as well. So what else have we got? Okay, so we've got the main body. Again, it just looks like it's been in such a massive, massive battle. Looks like it's taken a load of damage. Um, just really cool. Okay. 
So I guess one of the nice things about this pack as well is that not everything is the same size. Um, so it does just add a bit of variance to the table. Um, here we've got sort of the boosters, the thrusters at the back of the ship. Um, again, really nice and detailed. If you guys can see that, there you go. Really, really nice. Um, massive as well. Um, so we look at the the scale size of this in compared to like a TIE fighter. Um, it just looks great. Really, really great. Uh, what else have we got? I've got two more bits in here. Again, sort of the guys over at Space Rock Global have packed everything with enough tissue paper that it's not going to get broken. Because um, I guess being resin, they could be quite fragile. Um, and here, it's going to focus. We've got the thrusters that have come off the back. Really, really nice. Really nice. Okay, so what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to set these up onto the uh, bases, uh, and I'll be back in a second where you can see them and what they look like on the table. Okay, guys, so I've set everything up again. I just want to go through a quick point I've realised as I'm putting these together. So, um, unlike the Fantasy Flight games, when you put uh, your X-Wing on, you've got the uh, the little tube. Is that going to focus? So the little tube and you've got this little, um, I don't know, smaller piece connector bit that then slots in so it makes it really simple. Um, when I'm putting together uh, the terrain from Space Rocks Global you notice they're just, uh, just cylinders. Um, so one of the things I've realised is as you're putting things together you need to work out which way round um, which way round the, uh, the piece of terrain goes because otherwise it does fall off so it's pretty simple to work out um, you know it's it's not hard at all but just getting it the right way around so that it is more stable um, and just you know just sits there nice on your gaming table um, you know you've got these ones where you need to have them the right way around because otherwise they will sort of unbalance because um, it's just the way they've been made but it's nice to have um, it's really nice to have clear see-through bases um, especially because you know, I've got the uh, the map from Fantasy Flight Games with the Death Star on. Um, it just looks cool, you know, seeing your stars come through. Um, it just looks better, in my opinion. Um, as you can see, sort of for scale-wise, you know, really nice, easy to get some cover. And I guess unlike um, just having the asteroids, it adds levels to your game as well, you know. Um, especially sort of, if you look at this one, is it going to focus? There you go. Okay, so that one in the back um, here, if you look at it, it's just adding complete sort of depth and levels to it. You know, if you look, talking about doing sort of K turns, um, you know, you've got big ships, small ships like Decimator, and if you even have them at different levels, the game just looks so much more immersive and it makes it a bit more 3D than just sort of having a top down game. Um, I really, really like it. Um, I'm probably going to pick up some asteroids from Space Rocks Global 2 um, just because. Um, I don't, I'm just, you know, these are okay, but they're not fantastic. Um, you know, I want my games to look look cool and fun if I spend this amount of money on them. Um, and, you know, in other games, if you're painting them, if you repaint your your, your ships, you know, you're going to want to have the table looking awesome. And I suppose I was thinking for, um, you know, if you're doing demo games, um, if you've got a club day where you're doing a show or anything like that, it's going to look so much better for people, you know, watching you guys play. Um, it just looks fantastic. You know, I'm really, really pleased with it. Um, they weren't expensive. I think I paid, um, you know, they're up there now for sort of £39, £40 on eBay. Um, the link's going to be popping up now, guys, and it's also going to be below. Um, you know, it's just such a fantastic way of making your games look better. Um, I really, really recommend it. Um, so let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Will you guys be picking any up? Um, is there any alternatives? Um, you know, I'm really happy with these. Um, I did say they looked a bit dark um, because they've been washed over. But, you know, it looks like they've been in a proper battle that they've sort of, you know, burnt up a little bit. I think they look great. And, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think.